press conference. Uh, if you'd like to ask a question, please raise your hand and we'll get around as many as possible. Who would like to get us started? Bobby? Just checking on the um, injury news for tomorrow. Philip Jorgensen, is he okay to play? Yeah, he's available and he's going to play. And Mikhailo Mudrik wasn't in the squad on Sunday. Is Was that because of an um, injury or was he just left out? No, just a, a technical decision and yeah, no more. He's here with us and he's available for tomorrow. Gentleman at the back. Καλησπέρα, καλώ ορίσατε στην Ελλάδα, στην Αθήνα. Καλησπέρα. Επιστρέφετε εδώ μετά από 14 χρόνια. Τι είναι αυτό που θυμάστε, τι σα έχει μείνει από την παρουσία σα εδώ ω ποδοσφαιριστή, στον αιώνιο αντίπαλο του Παναγιώτου, στον Ολυμπιακό. Και πώ ε, βλέπετε το αυριανό παιχνίδι με τον Παναθηναϊκό εδώ στο Ολυμπιακό Στάδιο. Ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ. Welcome. Uh, you are here in Greece, back after uh, 14 years. My question is, what do you remember from uh, playing against uh, Panathinaikos' eternal rival, Olympiakos? And uh, the second question is, how do you foresee tomorrow's game? Uh, first of all, uh, thanks. Thank you. Uh, yeah, many years ago, uh, the feeling is uh, a little bit uh, mixed in terms of uh, the, se the season I spent here in Greece. For me, it was very good uh, with Olympiakos, as, as you said, a big rival with uh, Panathinaikos. But uh, in the same time, uh, I, I was here in Greece, unfortunately, uh, uh, after we, uh, I lost a friend inside the pitch when I was at Seville, and the first game we played after that. I mean, we were already here in Athens playing in this stadium, and just in that day, uh, one of uh, our teammates passed away, Antonio Puerta. So it's a bit uh, mixed feeling. Uh, the season with the uh, year in Athens was fantastic, but in the same time, every time I come back here, I have like uh, a little bit, uh, as I said, sad. Thank you. 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 Panathinaikos is a very good team. I watch different games uh, with the new manager, so for sure will be a tough game. Go to Jack. Enzo, um, Jao is going to be speaking after you. I just wanted to ask um, what you've made of his time at Chelsea so far, what he's shown you in training and, and how much of an opportunity games like this are for him, given his, his current position, struggling to get a start in the league? Yeah, Joao, Joao, since he arrived, he is doing very well with us. He's doing fantastic. I don't have nothing to say about jo Joao in terms of bad things. Everything I can say are good things. The only thing is that uh, uh, we have Joao, but we have also more players that, uh, unfortunately, they are not... Uh, playing, but not because they are not doing well during the week. It's because the one that they are playing in this moment, they are doing very well. And the only thing Joao has to do is to continue to work in the way he's working, and hopefully soon we can give him more more minutes and more chances. Hi, Enzo, how are you? Um, been, obviously, there's no Rhys James or Malagusto here, but there's no Josh Akinpong mm -hmm. as well, and there's been a bit of news about him this week that he, have you been told that you're not allowed to use him until his contract situation is resolved? No, to be honest, uh, I feel a bit shame for Josh uh, 
because I think this kind of games could be an opportunity for him. I had a chat for with him personally uh, about three weeks ago uh, about his situation and the, the the chat we had was a very good chat, positive chat, but since that moment I didn't speak with him again. And uh, as I said, it's a shame because I really think that Josh is, I already said many times, that uh, for me potentially he can be a top player. He's still uh, 18, so he's still very young. Uh, so many things can change for him, but uh, in terms of Potentially, future, future, it can be very important for Chelsea. The only thing is that uh, uh, is so important for the club that uh, our intention is not to lose him. So the first, the first, the first thing we need to do is to find a solution about his contract, his future. But uh, the most important thing I think at this age is that uh, they get minutes, they enjoy, and they play football, and it's it's bad situation in this moment for him. Uh, I don't know the people that try to solve the problem, if they are helping him or not. But uh, the only thing I can say is that uh, I really like Josh and I would like to have him here with us, uh, but uh, it's not possible. Gentlemen at the front, please. Coach, good morning. Good morning. The last time I was from Kipro, Είχα δίπλα μου δύο οπαδούς της Chelsea από το σύνδεσμο της Chelsea στην Κύπρο και παραπονιόντουσα γιατί ο Πάλμερ δεν είναι στην ευρωπαϊκή λίστα, αν μπορείτε να το απαντήσετε αυτό. Και δεύτερο, ε, λένε ότι τα τελευταία παιχνίδια δέχεστε εύκολα γκολ, ακόμα και μετά από την ισοφάριση με τη Λίβερπουλ, αμέσως δεχτήκατε γκολ. Αύριο με 50-60 κόσμο εδώ και την, το πάθος του Παναθηναϊκού να κερδίσει θα μπορείτε αύριο να μην δεχτείτε γκολ. Ευχαριστώ. Well, uh, I'm coming from Cyprus, and while I was traveling, there were two guys sitting next to me, and they were part of the uh, Chelsea Association or Fans uh, Association. So uh, the question is, uh, firstly, why Palmer is not in the European list? And my second question is that uh, in the last games, we have seen that Chelsea is uh, letting in easily goals, even with Liverpool, we saw that. So the question is, with a stadium full of fans tomorrow, do you think that you are going to avoid letting uh, um, goals in? <laughs> uh, first of all, the reason why Cole is not in the squad, I already said many times, is because we try to protect some of our players because injury or because different reason. So this is the first one. And the second one, uh, I think uh, I'm not agree that we are conceding, conceding easy goal. Uh, I think we are conceding goal like all the rest of the clubs in different way. And tomorrow with the uh, full stadium, hopefully we are not going to concede goal. It's up. Hi, Enzo. So I know you've asked, uh, been asked quite a lot about Mudrik in recent weeks, but it's very interesting for people, and they're wondering when this guy could fulfil this potential that everyone knows he has, and when do you think that might happen? Will it happen? And what's he not doing that he needs to do to get in the squad, let alone the team? Uh, when uh, I don't know. Uh, the only thing I can say that we try to work with uh, Misha every day, and hopefully he can get better and better uh, after day by day with us. And it, it, it's more or similar, more or less like uh, Joao is, is doing well. The, the, the thing is that in this moment, there are also more players that uh, they are doing well. Uh, the important thing in this moment is for, for him and for the rest is that when they get the chance, they, they take it. Last couple will go Liam and then gentlemen. Hi Enzo, um, there are a couple of youngsters in this squad, Sam Laksaki and Shimi Yuka. Um, what have you seen from those two in training, in development squad games, and what do you think they can bring to this group? Yeah, they have been with us uh, already uh, for different sessions. 
Sam is good profile midfielder. He can play all the midfielder. He can play a little bit in between the line. And the other one, we use him, Shimi, we use him uh, as a striker and as a winger. I think they are good profile, young one, and will be a good experience with them to stay with us. And also we have Tai, Tyrik, that is with us, that is already uh, doing very well with us. More or less, I think it's like Josh. It's, it's good to have him with us because we can, hopefully we can give him some minutes, some chances. And they can they can grow and they can make different experience. Thank you. And then we'll finish with the gentleman in the black jacket. Κύριε Μαράσκα, καλώς ήρθατε και πάλι στην Ελλάδα. Θα ήθελα να σας ρωτήσω, η ατμόσφαιρα στα ελληνικά κύπερα την οποία έχετε ζήσει ως παίκτης είναι αρκετά διαφορετική από ό,τι στην Αγγλία. Εδώ οι φίλαθλοι ειδικά του Παναθηναϊκού και των μεγάλων ομάδων είναι λίγο πιο εκδηλωτικοί. Αν σας απασχολεί αυτό στη διαχείριση του υλικού, των ποδοσφαιριστών σας, και χωρίς να, φυσικά να θέλω κάποια τεχνική ανάλυση του, του αγώνα, να μας πείτε ένα θετικό και ένα αρνητικό σημείο αγωνιστικά για τον Παναθηναϊκό που εσείς έχετε εντοπίσει στην ανάλυση. Σας ευχαριστώ πολύ. Welcome to Greece again. Uh, you know that the ambience in the Greek stadiums is uh, quite different uh, in comparison to the uh, British ones. Here uh, the fans are much more expressive. I say so, uh, in Greece. And uh, my question is um, if this, uh, do you think, will affect you? And my second question is, uh, you have done an analysis of the team of Panathinaikos. According to you, which are the positive and which are the uh, negative points? Yeah, no. first of all, yeah, I'm from Italy, so I know, how, <laughs> I know that it's very close to Italy. It's similar. Uh, as you said, it's different environment, but it's nice. I think, I don't think tomorrow environment is uh, worse or better than Anfield last Sunday. So uh, I think the players, they are quite good to deal with that. And then, as I said, Panathinaikos, they are some good players. Like, uh, for instance, I was in Leicester last year. Tete was there two years ago. So I know, I know something. And then they are different, different kind of player. That uh, they are good player. Uh, so also the manager was in civil. So uh, I think overall, like uh, all the club, they have good things. They have some problems. So we're gonna try to do our best and try to to compete in the right way tomorrow. Okay, we'll end it there. Thank you, everyone.